Uh, good morning. Uh, last night was kind of rough, and I had a hard time waking up. But I knew I had to get up eventually because I needed to take a look at what happened with this car. So, got it up on the jacks and doing a quick once over. It's definitely a ton of grass everywhere. This side looks okay, splitter wise. Something's definitely tweaked though. I have a feeling it's on this side. Oh yeah. Yep. So I can get in there. Splitter mounts, definitely bent. Look at this guy. Also bent. That guy back there is bent. But I think other than that, it look okay. How does it look on the bottom? I think the bottom looks okay. It's a little bowed, but that's probably because these mounts are bent. But yeah, I mean, this is how much brake pad I had in the end. Next to nothing. It's probably what boiled the fluid. Damn, that's like no brake pads. Yeah, it's, this one's pretty much on the backing plate. Yeah, scary stuff. Other than that, I don't really see anything else wrong. Definitely have fluid. So I don't know, I guess it just boiled the fluid right in that last lap and that was it. Yeah. So I think the main step today is to essentially fix the splitter and all that first and then try to see if I can find some better brake pads. Um, I have a lot of used pads, but they're gonna be just as thin as the pads I put in there, and I guess they didn't last the whole race, so. Let's, uh, let's get to work. Good afternoon, guys. Today is Saturday. Uh, I basically have been working on the car all morning and I'm happy to say it is pretty much ready to go. So did a couple things. Uh, number one, the entire splitter. We fixed that, some of the mounts were bent. I found some other used pads that have a little bit more life left. So I put those in. Um, obviously I'm gonna closely monitor them after this third race. Um, and basically, yeah, I just did everything, gave it a good once over. Um, we had a problem with this caliper on this side, the caliper bracket actually. Um, I think it was unrelated to yesterday, but basically, the there's a stud that goes to the caliper bracket that holds the caliper on. Um, it looks like those studs are getting kind of worn out just because it's a steel stud to an aluminum bracket. So I had to go all around town to try to find um, a nut cert or a, what am I, a helicoil, that's what I'm thinking of. It's like a 3 8 16 helicoil, which is kind of hard to find, but eventually I found it, so we fixed that. Blood the whole system. The pedal still feels kind of soft, but that's most likely because there's still a ton of air in the ABS system. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive it around the paddock, see how it feels, and then maybe get a hardship lap. So one lap on the track just to kind of get a little bit more speed at it try to activate that ABS and obviously try to make sure the brake system even works. So uh, looks like we'll be good to go, fingers crossed, for race three. Um, probably starting back of the pack. But the cool thing is right now, is I would have been in it if I finished fourth, but I didn't. I think I finished like 26 through the pit lane actually, which is kind of cool. But anyway, um, also, I just wanted to say appreciate all the, you know, the kind words and the thoughts and stuff. I posted the video on Instagram last night and it, it blew up and I don't know, just all the fans and people that support me, you know, all just trying to say good things and everyone kind of looking out for my health. So I really appreciate that. Um, good luck, Tom O'Gorman. You should be doing pretty good. But anyway, just wanted to say thank you to everybody out there. Um, a lot of people, you know, follow me on Instagram and stuff and 
a lot of people have good things to say and it, you know I was kind of in a bad state of mind yesterday because I could have got seriously hurt. So anyway, just wanted to say thank you to all the guys out there. Um, you know, Instagram, Facebook, friends, family, all that. My dad too. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> we made it out of that alive. And honestly, the car looks pretty damn good for me losing brakes in one of the fastest corners on this track. So really, overall, no real damage. That splitter, man. That splitter took most of the impact and it held up. That's half inch birch plywood with few layers of fiberglass top and bottom and it held together man that, that was probably 50 miles per hour into that berm luckily it wasn't a wall because i think it would have been way worse so anyway that's a recap of what happened this morning i think i'm going to go up to the top of grid and watch these guys do the top 10 shootout because honestly it's one of the most intense qualifying sessions out there and uh, i got a root for my boy tom o'gorman and hopefully he can snag that pole for race three
like that. That was awesome. I think 21st to 5th. That was freaking awesome. Um, yeah, good hard fighting with everybody. Um, I got lucky. I, I capitalized on a lot of uh, other people's mistakes because basically all the fast guys in front of me were fighting with other cars trying to go three too wide. And I just kind of hung back and then I waited for my opportunity. I just kind of slingshotted right by a few people. Um, so yeah, it was an awesome race. Um, I'm surprised I got by Andy mid-race. I think he tried to make it three wide and made a mistake and I got by him. And then once I cleared the cars up front to get fifth, Andy was chasing me down the last two laps. So I'm glad I was able to hold him off and keep that fifth spot. But man, to come back from spinning the car into a banking and then finish fifth, that, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. I always love a good recovery, um, so yeah, I'm happy. Good result. I'm gonna check over the brakes once again, probably bleed them. Make sure it's all good. Drink some water because I'm pretty tired and it's hot. And uh, we got one more race. Race four, which will be a random invert. So maybe I'll start from up front, who knows? But yeah, I'm pumped. So uh, working on brakes right now. I'm down to my last, honestly, just two good pads. So I replaced one pad on both sides. So this right here, that was what I ended up with in the last race and this would not make it in race four. It's basically down to the rivets. So once you get down to that point, uh, you basically have nothing left and that's when things go bad. So I swap one pad per side. The other pad looks pretty good. So now me and DJ, we're just gonna bleed the brakes. So. Pop it up, you Slowly now. Come on. Pressure? Yep. Pressure. Oh, look at all those air bubbles. Oh, hey. Hey. Pickles right, at a racetrack. Pickles at a racetrack put you back together.
I'm exhausted. Ah, oh, that's a win. Oh my gosh. I, I, oh, I worked my ass off for that one, man. Andy and Tom were putting so much pressure on me. And unfortunately, I had to, I had to kind of slow him down in turn three because I had no front grip that entire race. I'm pretty sure the only reason I won that race was this guy right here, Ashton. It's Mikey's dog. So I guess I dedicate that win to Mikey. So hopefully he's at home right now. Uh, hopefully he's feeling better. So this one's for you, Mikey and Ashton. Morning, Senna. Great job in the live stream, DJ. Hey, you thanks. want to say anything to your fans out there? Uh, I got one Instagram follower all weekend, <laughs> <laughs> so they don't care about the live stream. Uh, I guess they want to see you in the car more, right? Uh, yeah. What if you do both? Oh man, I don't Talk know. Talk while you're racing well, in the car. So normally you get like 40 on a race weekend, so maybe I'd get 41. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just tearing down camp. Yeah, this weekend was absolutely wild. Um, I don't know if they did the podium celebration yet, but I think I got fifth or sixth overall, which I don't really care about because obviously in uh, race three, or race two, I had that big off, and I think I finished like 21st, so I essentially got zero points for that race. Meanwhile, everybody else this weekend was phenomenal and consistent, and you know they got a lot of good finishes. So I think Jeremy Swenson and actually Tom O'Gorman tied for first place. So that is a first in GLTC history. So they both got equal amount of points. However, we do have tiebreakers where whoever gets the higher finishes, I guess like whoever gets more firsts and podiums, and then I'll win the weekend. So I think technically speaking, Jeremy might have won the weekend, which is his first weekend, um, first GOC weekend win of his career. Um, and this is his first year racing GOC. So that's freaking awesome. Congrats to him. He drove a fantastic race. Tom tied for first, but I think by default gets put to second, I believe. Um, this is all unofficial, by the way. I don't really know the official results yet, but this is just what I've heard from Kyle. And then I believe third place would be Andy Smedgard. And then fourth was Luke McGrew. Fifth might have been Justin Kelly. And then I think sixth was me. So considering the fact that I almost completely totaled my car and almost hurt myself, I'm glad that I can at least finish the last few races. So for me personally, I could have been done after race two and been in a good mood because I'm good, the car is good. But the fact that in race three, we went from 21st to fifth and then race four, we got out to the lead and defended the whole damn race. That was insane. Cause honestly, my car, it just did not have the pace this weekend on this track. It's It struggled front end, you know, corner entry was loose, mid corner would push and then power on exit, it would push even more. So um, there was really only one section on this track where my car was good and that was seven, eight, nine, ten, or not even 10, seven, eight, nine, that was it. So when I had Andy and Tom behind me, I knew I could pull a little bit of a gap in those corners and then hold on to it for the rest of the lap and my car was complete crap in turn two, turn three, and turn 10. And Andy would like close the gap right up to my bumper. And there was a few times where we went two wide through five and six and I managed to hold it on the outside. But I don't know, man. Like I just knew where my car was strong and I knew where my car was weak and just had to defend and kind of cover any opportunities that they were gonna make. And I think Tom and Andy, they kind of switched to see who would have the better pace to make it by me. but. 15 minutes later, finished the race, P1. So super pumped to go from losing brakes, spinning out at 150 miles per hour to winning the last race of the weekend. Absolutely awesome. So I'm happy, it's a good weekend. It's a good weekend for the championship because we got a third and we got a first and then a fifth place. I don't know if the fifth place is gonna come into play, but those podiums for sure are going to help quite a bit. However, Jeremy had an absolute killer weekend got a first, second, and a third, and then I think like a 13th because his ABS failed in the last race. But what that means for the season championship, unofficially, we come into the last race with me leading with all the drops accounted for. So this is all, this is the official season points right now with all the drops accounted for. I am leading the season championship by nine points with Jeremy Swenson in second, and I believe Tom O'Gorman is in third, about 40 points behind, and then Aaron Lichty behind him also about 40 points behind. While that may sound great, the problem is we are going to Road America, and Road America is the fastest, one of the fastest tracks that we run on all year. 
there is a ton of straightaways and a ton of digs. And guess what? Jeremy Swenson, he's got a Corvette with a lot of horsepower. And I only have 185 horsepower with an EG body that's kind of draggy. So <laughs> it's going to be a challenge to get the season championship because essentially nine points is nothing. That's a, that's a few positions. And if you make a mistake and drop a few positions, then there goes the championship. So not only do I got to be consistent at the last event, I also need to basically beat Jeremy Swenson or at least stay as close as I can to him and minimize the amount of points lost. So that's going to be a huge challenge, but I have some ideas to prepare for. I got a few weeks. Um, we might head down to Haltech, Haltech's home base in Kentucky, and we might try to dyno and get a little bit more power out of the car, run the car a little bit heavier, and just try to use that extra power to kind of push through that air, you know, at the higher speed, because more power means you get to push through, you know, the resistance of the air a little bit better. Um, but more weight, you know, means slightly worse handling, slightly worse braking, but I'm not really concerned about that right now. I just want to make sure I got that straight line speed. So anyway, a uh, quick recap of the weekend. Absolutely awesome weekend. Thanks to everybody, friends, family, my girlfriend, she's awesome. My dad who loves going to the races, love him. Um, DJ Alessandrini who did the live stream. Um, and then yeah, just everybody else who was out here this weekend and all the people that, you know, came up to me after that race to big off, you know, uh, appreciate all the kind words. You know, everybody was, everybody was worried sick, honestly, because it looked bad, man. On that live stream, it looked really bad. But anyway, I'm good. Car's good. Got a win. Third place. Great weekend. Happy. Uh, the concert was freaking awesome. Big boy was wild. Um, so yeah, see you guys later. This was an awesome event. Hopefully the, my vlogging, like I said before, my vlogging skills have improved a little bit. Um, it's kind of hard to capture everything just because, you know, I, I'm so damn busy working on the car and racing. And then when I'm not working on it, I'm just trying to relax because I'm, I'm exhausted usually. So, um, but hopefully this was an okay video. I think Heartlands might be a little, not as good, but anyway, glad to bring you guys along for this one and we will see you at Road America in a few weeks. So see you later guys.